is Wallace. She's gonna be my driver for the next two weeks as we cruise around Austria and go on a few adventures. Here we are, lost in the Austrian mountains, of course. She's my EDP. If you don't know what EDP is, neither do I. It's not boyfriend, girlfriend. It's exclusive dating partner. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So, we're in the van. And right now we've got an hour's drive left to get to Dover, to get the ferry over to Calais. And as always, I will take you on the adventure of what the next couple of weeks is gonna look like. The van is all kitted out. Mary is looking, oh my God, it's very bumpy. The best she has ever looked. Sink, hob, drawers in, these little child locks to stop things sliding around. Fridge, look at the bed. The next couple of weeks is gonna be good fun. Right, we've just pulled into Dover. Wallace is having a bit of a panic. <laughs> I only just learned how to drive the thing. I like these complicated. <laughs> this is the first car. time she's ever driven the van, and so far, she has done marvelously. If you're wondering, by the way, why we're getting the ferry instead of the Euro Tunnel, <laughs> yeah, a bit of a stupid decision. But I'd already booked the ferry last year when COVID hit, and then I didn't go, so I had credit on my account, and that was when I had the Ford Galaxy, which ran on LPG gas. Ferry is an hour and a half. The Euro Tunnel is something like 35 oh. minutes. Oh. Breaking, by the way. I'm gonna get whiplash, I tell you. All sorts of documents to try and get into France, then Germany, and then Austria. To be honest, I think it just freaks people out. Do your research online. What is it, the TravelGov UK website? Everything on there, just confusing and overcomplicated. Have you got Where the right lane? I don't know, Wallace. Just stay in this lane. Where am I going? Follow that car, I think. Yeah. That's buses and cars. <laughs> can you can you look at the signs? I'm looking at the signs. Just follow the car. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure at all. Just follow the car. <laughs> the key in life is not to panic. Can you drive? Hey. Good morning. Vaccine. Vaccine. Yeah. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Good Is it a camper van? Yeah. In, in conversion. <laughs> in conversion. Yeah. Not converted for the no. year. Enough for you to sleep in now though. That's all we need, yeah. It's Wallace's, what is it? Your 27th birthday tomorrow. And I've got an early well, birthday present for her. Look how nicely wrapped it is. Look at that. You're fantastic, aren't you? <laughs> 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 you keep talking about needing the toilet. You've so bought this for yourself. No, for both you. of us. That's why I said it's a joint, it's a joint present. I give these to my patients. <laughs> so this is a male and female portable urinal. Well, that goes on your hoo-ha. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> there we go. Don't worry, they do get more exciting than that, I promise. Well, no, actually, that's great. Actually, I'm not sure if they do. That's so good. I'm moving. Oh my god. I'm moving. I know, but I don't know. I need to put the lid on. Don't get pee on the floor, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. I've got a half naked woman in the back of my van. That sounds horrendously dodgy. 147. <laughs> it's like, that's so fast. <laughs> we got another camper. All the campers lined up together. Lovely, jubbly. Right, Wallace has gone to Burger King or to Costa Coffee to go and get something just to eat while we wait for the departure of the ferry. We've got about an hour to wait here at Dover. Thought I should probably tell you the plan for the next couple of weeks. My mum lives in Austria. She's lived there for the last couple of years. No, she's not Austrian. She's not German. She's just English. She just moved over there because of the landscape and just the beautiful scenery that Austria is. It's an absolutely incredible country. So the next few weeks are just going to be spending some family time, spending some good quality time on the road, in the van, going on some wintry, snowy adventures. This is the first trip abroad in Mary. I've kitted it out the last couple of weeks with the hob, the sink and everything in just to try and make it a bit more livable especially with Wallace in here she demanded she had a sink so every morning she could wash her face
Dover to Calais on the ferry. Hour and a half, get some breakfast, chill out. Only one car in front. I feel like I'm on a school trip. <laughs> Wall <laughs> Wallace feels like she's on a school trip. It's been a while. What place is that for? Anywhere. Go to the restaurant of your choice and exchange the voucher. Bit of fish and chips for breakfast. Oh, I'm gonna go curry or lasagna. Literally the first ones on here. Not a single soul oh, knocking sorry. about. Tell you what, with the storm we've just had, the seas are rough. I now understand why there's so many sick bags I have got this ferry so many times in the past on family holidays and I have never in my life seen it as quiet as it is now. There's literally about 30 people on board here. Bon voyage! Ça suffit enculé! Right, we've made it to France and we haven't got a clue where we're driving now. Where should we go? <laughs> where should we go? Who knows? Right, we're gonna come up with some sort of plan. Basically keep driving until we get towards Austria, probably for about, how long? Maybe four or five hours of driving today. I think we're gonna go through Belgium and then through potentially Holland and potentially <laughs> Do you Germany. Have any idea? <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Oh yeah, also gotta remember that I'm now driving on the wrong side of the road. Welcome to one of the most random little park ups ever. Yesterday was a long slog after about eight, nine hours of driving. Dover to Calais, Calais through to Belgium, Belgium through to Luxembourg, Luxembourg through to Germany, which is where we are right now in an absolutely random place. No idea exactly where we are. Wallace found it on Park for Night last night. No reviews, no pictures, just one little comment, but I have to say, what a bloody spot it is because it's right on top of a little hill with some walks around a wine vineyard in front of us it's absolutely stunning but it's cold outside there's a couple of german people that have parked up next to us taking their dogs and going on some walks because everybody's got bloody walking poles and all sorts so they take it proper serious out here i think we got here about 10 o'clock absolutely exhausted we went to the shop grabbed some tortellini ricotta of course and some cheese cooked that up, had some dinner, and went straight to bed. And then this morning, I'll show you the setup, unless there's a naked woman behind these doors, or these doors, these curtains. Got the kettle boiling for Wallace to wash her hair, or not wash her hair, wash her face. It hasn't started whistling, has it? Yeah. Yeah, but I wanted to hear the proper whistle. It was. No, nah, but not fully, was it? Yeah. Uh, bought a whistling kettle, which I'm really excited to listen to. <laughs> The heater has been on and off this morning because it's about four degrees outside. But first night in the van together in Germany. So this was last night's setup and also this morning's. With two people in here, you definitely feel a bit crammed. <laughs> but it's definitely teamwork to make the dream work because one person pours water while the other one brushes their teeth, washes their face. We did all the washing up. I think it's just going to take a bit of time to get used to it all. 
really annoyed. Basically, I forgot my window deflectors and covers. So I've got to use this curtain, which completely means that we lose about a foot and a half of the van. It means we can't really use the swivel seat at night or any of the front cab area because we're obviously trying to be a bit stealth. So when it's dark, we kind of have to put this up because the lights are on inside here. So I'm annoyed I didn't bring them. Quite a bit of condensation in here. Is this, is this shut? The door? Oh no, because <laughs> I went, did we sleep with the door open? Why is, what's happened to the door then? Turn that up to 50%. Get rid of some of this moisture in the air. This is how makeup happens in a van, using the reflection of a light switch. Perfect. It's a good mirror. Brilliant. Full coverage here. We're gonna see if she can use her straighteners <laughs> on the inverter, but I gotta check the wattage before I say yes. <laughs> God, blimey. What a spot, honestly. Bloody beautiful, isn't it? Would have been gorgeous. There was a sign last night which we did translate, which apparently said something like park at your own risk and parking for the chalet or something, or parking for the clubhouse. I assume that's the clubhouse. Um, if you understand German, please let us know exactly what this says. It's so nice when you arrive somewhere at night and you don't really know what it looks like, and then you wake up to somewhere like this. Oh, all right there. Eh? Got a bit of a problem at the back though. Tool bag, my clothes. Wallace has one IKEA bag, two IKEA bag, about five different toiletry bags up there. And then- Girls gotta do what girls gotta do. <laughs> and then another suitcase. So room has gone very, very quickly, lacking space already. Also had to bring the spare wheel and just sit it in the back here because I couldn't put it underneath where the heater is now. You farted? <laughs> yes. Hey, I'm trying to do the perfect <laughs> van life shot. And there you are saying I farted, don't expose me. This is what you see on a postcard, honestly, on Instagram and all this malarkey. It wasn't that dreamy last night at 10 o'clock, having to wash up and both of us go for a wee in that pot. And then this morning, I'm probably gonna need to set up the toilet. Shut the <laughs> yeah, shut the door. Don't wanna waste that heat. How do I do it? <laughs> <laughs> Push it out. P pull the handle down. I always make this error. Come on. Straighteners, how much wattage? Hold on, hold on. Before we use them, how much wattage? I don't want to have a flat battery. Uh, 230 watt. You can use your straighteners. Yay. Because we're on a bit of a slope, I need part of it's cooking at the moment. Yeah, this is the problem. We're parked, if this is the van, slightly like that. So all of the milk goes to one side and it's the same with the water in the sink. It kind of builds up to one side. Damn, damn. Do you know why I'm wearing these? <laughs> because you wouldn't let me bring my slippers. I wasn't allowed to bring my slippers. I wasn't allowed to bring my umbrella. Wallace, there's not enough space for balloons, 10 pairs of, course of shoes. Of there is. What do you mean, of course I've there is? I've got seven pairs of shoes. Slippers I've got two pairs of shoes with me. Well done, it's because that's the only pairs you've got. Why do you need seven pairs of shoes, for God's sake? Can you imagine that this is only day one in the van? Night one. After two weeks, we might end up killing each other. No, we won't. <laughs> Don't you think? Well, uh, there we go then. No, we won't. Speak for yourself. You might want some more porridge. Oh. There we go. Breakfast is served. First breakfast in the van. Banana porridge with a bit of strawberry jam. And Wallace is having a bit of honey on hers instead. I just realised something that this might not be the most exciting content you've ever seen. Somebody making porridge, do their makeup, use hair straighteners, use a shiwi. Use a sink, a hob, <laughs> but to me, this is bloody exciting because the van has never ever been in this state 
where I can actually use all of these facilities and just make it feel like a home. Oh! Mary's never been abroad. Mary's never been abroad. She's never been used like this. So every little aspect, like opening a drawer and having cutlery in and pots and pans, is just so exciting to me. Even the ability to now do the washing up inside the van. Just a game changer. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Jesus oh, This is the problem we're having with the sink. Because we're on the slope, all of the water goes down to one side, so I need to get one of these, what do you shower. call it? Shower. Shower squidgy things, which can direct the water down the hole. And all of that is going straight into the waste container, which is actually working quite well. Definitely come to realize that prioritizing water and being minimalistic on the amount that you actually use is Kind of a big deal, otherwise we're going to run out of it pretty quickly. How cool is that, that you can use hair straighteners in here? Yeah, I mean, don't judge, I'm no hair or beauty specialist. Yeah, but you can use hair straighteners in a van. I know, I'm absolutely thrilled, otherwise it'd look like you're... Cool, don't sound too sarcastic. Out travelling with Hagrid. If anybody's wondering, I've got a carbon monoxide alarm sitting in there for safety. Gonna turn the gas off every time now, just to be on the safe side. Once Hagrid's done her hair, <laughs> I think that's it. Give the van a sweep, and then off we go for another six hours of driving. Austrian mountains, an hour and a half left to go, baby. Look at that. Woo! I feel like we shouldn't be in here. Oh, fuck. She's going. Oh, oh, God. Yeah, turn around. Well, we've definitely hit the snow line and we've just gone down a road which we're not meant to have gone down. No, don't say that. <laughs> There's a barrier there, assuming that is because of the snow conditions. We're still an hour from the destination. That's someone's house. Oh God. Is it? I don't know, try and go up there. Is it somebody's house? Oh fuck. <laughs> Lost in Austria. These are the type of wintry conditions you can be expecting in the next couple of videos. Oh, look at this! This is really stupid. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. Wow, look at all this snow. Well, here we are. Lost in the Austrian mountains. Of course. So, after going up there and it being a dead end, look, that lorry's doing exactly the same. That was where he went initially, and it's all closed off. So, we're having to go back the way we came, probably for another half an hour. Make sure that when you get to places like Austria, you put avoid tolls back on, because that was the reason We've got lost and gone down it's roads which are covered in snow. Well, firstly, I've still not mastered parking. And secondly, that is a hell of a lot of snow. 
so finally after a 16 17 hour drive from the uk to austria where i am right now i'm going to be spending the next few days here at my mum's place just catching up with her spending some family time with the dogs and all that fun stuff i wanted to bring you guys along with me on the adventure of driving from the uk over to austria just so i could show you exactly what it's like during these times of uncertainty especially with you know what still causing a few travel problems if you did enjoy the video then please make sure to drop a like and leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought and as always make sure to subscribe for more future videos like this one and plenty more stealth camping and van adventures i cannot wait for the next few weeks cruising around in the van spending some good quality time out here in austria in the snow in the winter testing out the heater the fridge just testing everything out and just doing some proper winter van life thank you guys so much for watching and as always i will catch you in the next video